a beautiful day but perhaps not the best of days for landscape photography and then we've got a chunk of blue sky in there which kind of forms another v-shape Hey, good afternoon everyone and thanks for joining me again. Well, I say afternoon, it's probably early evening and it's a beautiful day. Sunny, warm, blue skies. <laughs> a beautiful day but perhaps not the best of days for landscape photography. But that's the forecast for the next week or so here. So I'm left with three choices. I can stay at home, which is not really an option. I like to be out and about. I can come out and just have a hike and not take any photos and of course that's always a possibility. Sometimes when I come out I never get the camera out of the bag. But the third possibility is I can try to find some kind of composition that will work with the conditions we've got today. It's five to seven, sunset tonight officially is about 9.27, 9.28. But as always here, we've got mountains over to the northwest, so the sun will disappear significantly earlier than that. I must admit, I've come out this afternoon with a couple of ideas already in mind based upon the fact that I've already explored a large chunk of this mountain anyway. And I'm gonna go and check out a couple of possibilities. The slight chance that I might even be able to do them both if they look as if they, they'll both work just based upon the topography of the terrain here there might just be a possibility that one shot will need to be earlier than the other and there might just be enough time to get from one location to the other I don't know we'll have to see and of course neither of them might work out and I'm always open to any other possibilities I might find along the way I've been hiking for about 30 35 minutes just stopped for a little break the trail I've chosen actually starts off going downhill a bit and then in a few minutes I'll branch off and then I've got to start going back uphill again so I thought this was a good point just to have a little stop on a break and uh, shoot this little bit of video so time to keep moving Okay, so this is my first possible location, although if I end up shooting both of the ones that I had ideas on, this one would actually be the second one that I would shoot. If this looks familiar to you, and you watched my video, the what's in and on my camera bag that I did a little while ago, then you may recognize the scene because this wall here is where I sat and went through all my gear. And it was actually while I was looking at that video that I wondered about the possibility of a composition here on a day with blue skies. So we've got the mountain, or one end of the mountain over there in the background. As you can see, we've got loads of blue skies, but we've got these trees here. So it should be possible to not completely, but partially frame the scene with these trees. So I've had a little look around. I was hoping I might be able to find a scene where I could get the, uh, the, the trees to actually be over the top of the mountain, but there's just no position here anywhere that you can get that. But nevertheless, a partial framing might work. And if we shot this pretty much just as the sun's dropping behind the mountains over there, so right in the very last bit of direct light, these mountains are gonna be side lit. That might look quite nice. Okay, so this is, this is a possibility for a kind of very last minute shot just before the sun disappears behind the mountains. This might work, but 
I still need to go and check out my other possible composition and when I do that I'm going to see how long it takes me to get from one scene to the other because that will tell me whether both of them are achievable within the time I've got available before the sun disappears and uh, whether it's worth trying to do them both or whether I need to pick one of them. So I better carry on. Okay, so this is the other composition I was thinking of. And what we've got here is this ridge that runs down and the sun has already dropped behind the ridge over to kind of my left over there. So this side is in shadow, but the ridge beyond or the, the, the cliff face and the mountain beyond is still being brightly lit. So. I'm thinking of shooting this probably longer focal lengths and there's going to be kind of a diagonal, a dark diagonal line coming down which is this ridge here with the trees on top which is going to be dark almost but not quite silhouettes and then beyond that we've got the rock face which is going to be brightly lit but it also kind of comes down in the diagonal so we've got a dark diagonal, a bright diagonal and then a, sort of another brighter darker diagonal line meeting there and then the sky forming a, a kind of a triangle in the top I'm going to set up and I'm probably going to shoot this in the next 15 to 20 minutes because I think the light on this is probably about as good as it's going to get or it's very soon will be so I'm going to get set up now and ready to shoot it Okay, so the composition is set up. It's not perfect. I can't quite get it the way I would like it. But what I've got is the ridge that's in shadow coming down from the top left-hand side of the frame. And the, the trees there are just a little bit down from the top of the frame. That ridge kind of comes across diagonally but it doesn't reach all the way across to the right hand side of the frame. It drops off the frame uh, about three quarters of the way across. And then the other side of the frame, we've got the brightly lit ridge line, um, cliff face, whatever it is. Um, now that's coming in about a third of the way across the frame from the top right hand side and coming down. And then we've got a chunk of blue sky in there, which kind of forms another V shape, another diagonal set of diagonals. I'm going to shoot it because I'm set up, but I'm not entirely convinced it's going to work. I'll show it to you anyway, but we'll have to see. So about 136 millimeters, I think. Uh, F11, two second timer, and that's the shot might work. I'm not entirely convinced, but it might work. Okay, so on my way back to the other scene, and I've just stopped off on a little hilltop to try and shoot this tree. It's got a really nice shape, and 
the sun's behind it and it's creating shadows in the foreground that are leading in. So I've just really set up quickly, I don't have a lot of time and I'm going to try to get a sun star coming through the branches with the shadows leading up to the tree and then the really nice shape of the tree in there. It's going to be a very, very contrasty scene, so I'm almost certainly going to have to uh, exposure merge this in some way, shape or form. Now it's just a case of waiting for the sun to peek through the branches. So I'm going to show, shoot three frames, two stops apart. So my lowest exposure will be f16 at one one hundredth of a second. That's going to be a really, really dark shot. But it keeps all the detail in the sky. Well, it keeps all of the blue in the sky anyway. Um, and doesn't blow any highlights out behind. My next shot is going to be f16 for one twenty-fifth of a second. And then the final one is going to be f16 for one sixth of a second. And between the three of those, okay, I need to uh, get on to the other location now quickly. Okay, so a little bit of a race around to get back here in time, but at the moment there's some quite nice side lighting hitting the mountain, and I've set my composition up. Originally my thoughts was I was going to put the, the tripod down low, but then that lifts the branches too far away from the, the mountain, and uh, leaves too much blue sky. So I've, I've raised up, gone for a slightly higher viewpoint, so I've got this tree here coming in on the top left hand side of the frame and just over on the left here and then this tree and the branches sticking out here um, kind of cover the right hand side of the frame and then the mountain in the distance and then of course there's some more trees down here in the uh, kind of the foreground um, not sure if I might crop this down to 16 by 9 to remove even more of the sky, quite possibly. Basically the shot's set up now, it's just a case of waiting for the light. So quickly through the setup, 16 to 35 lens at 35 millimeters. No filters, don't really need them. Okay. So I'm shooting at f11, which is giving me plenty of depth of field. I could probably shoot f8, but f11's fine. And at the moment, that's giving me one fifteenth of a second, although that will change uh, as the light changes. At the moment, the highlights are on the mountain and a little bit of sky over on the left. Now, I will say there's just a hint of cloud, just a wispy cloud just off the edge of the mountain, which probably isn't coming out on the video camera. Um, but that could get some colour in it as the sun goes down. We'll have to wait and see. This is going to be a shot that will happen before the sun sets. Once the sun has set here, the light will go off the scene and there'll be no point in hanging around. So, just a case of waiting now. Okay, so just keeping my eye on the scene, seeing how the light's changing. I have to keep running up a hill over there to see how close the sun is to actually disappearing. I was shooting at 35 millimeters, but when I looked at the composition again, I just felt that on the left-hand side of the frame, where the branches are coming in from the tree, there was a little tiny bit there but not really enough. So they either needed to be excluded completely, which actually I didn't think looked right, or I needed to just bring them in just a little bit more. So I've pulled the zoom out from 35 mil to about 31. Um, I'm gonna crop this 16 by nine. I'm pretty certain it's gonna be 16 by nine or thereabouts anyway. So just opening it up a little bit more isn't really too much of a problem. Okay, so we're starting to get a really nice warm glow now on the top edge of the mountain. That's because the sun's really almost as low as it's going to get before it disappears. So we're going to start losing the light any second. Um, still 31 millimeters, still f11. Uh, 
one sixth of a second. Okay, so just before the sun disappeared, we had that beautiful glow picking out all of the orange in the rocks here. And that's pretty much gone now. So I think it's probably time to pack up. I've probably got a 45 minute hike back to the car. So I might as well uh, start that now. If I'm honest, I'm not sure how well tonight has gone. I might have got a couple of decent images, I might not. I didn't have great hopes. Blue Skies rarely produces fantastic images, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, you'll have already seen what I shot, so maybe you can tell me what you think below. I hope you've enjoyed the video, whether you like the images or not. And if you like the video and you'd like to see more, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the little alarm bell to get a notification when I post a new one. Like, shares and comments really help and particularly comments because I love to read them and I love to respond. But likes and shares help to get more people watching these videos, which is good for me. And finally, thank you very much for watching. And until the next video, bye.